Today's show is all about hormones and the effect that they have on your health. And we all know that menopause is a time when some major changes happen. And we have a couple of women here today who have a few questions about this very topic. So, all right, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. My name's Nellie. Um, hey, Nellie. My mom died of at 50 of ovarian cancer. And um, she took quite a few hormones um, after her hysterectomy. And I am now 53, and I have not had a hysterectomy or anything. I'm just trying to do everything natural. Um, and I just am so confused because my doctor has hinted at a little bit of HRT therapy or something, and I, I want so badly to do it natural. And so I'm kind of confused about what's natural, what's not, and what's right for me. Well, sorry to hear about your mom, um, but what you can know from your mom's history is that breast and ovarian cancer uh, are, are very much related. And the thing about hormone replacement therapy, or actually estrogen and progesterone, is um, that for ovarian cancer, they work differently. It actually decreases your risk of ovarian cancer. But because ovarian cancer is related to breast cancer, if you have a risk of breast cancer, then that then estrogen and progesterone actually increase that risk of, pre of breast cancer. So what you may want to do is you already know you have a risk factor for ovarian cancer, but you may want to get your um, you know your genes tested. I your, did. You did. I had the BRCA test. I came back. I don't have the mutant gene, okay. but I am still. I still want to be really careful with what I do with my body. Bottom line to all of this is that you need to individualize your therapy and follow with a gynecologist very carefully depending on your family history, your medical history, your symptoms if you're having any. Um, and are you having any symptoms? Uh -huh. Weight gain is the main issue, weight gain, and just a few hot flashes. Okay, well, it sounds like you're progressing pretty well. Now, weight gain, we like to blame it on our hormones, ladies, <laughs> but it's not necessarily that straight and narrow, okay? The biggest question is just what you had. What's, you know, how do you tell between the quote unquote natural or bioidentical or compounding? These are all words that just get thrown out there, okay? I'm going to start with bioidentical first because that throws a lot of women. Bioidentical hormones just mean that they're the same hormones that our body produces. Let's start with estrogen, okay? The kind of uh, uh, bioidentical estrogen that you can get is estradiol, all right? Now, those are actually made by the pharmaceutical company, okay? Uh, this one right here has estradiol in it. Now, it's not all, only about what kind, it's also about how it's delivered. Because if you take a pill, it's broken down in the liver. That can have different side effects than if you take something like a patch or a cream, which is, gonna have, which is not going to be broken down in the liver, and you're going to get more of the estradiol in your blood and less of the potential harmful things or side effects than if you take it in the liver. Now, if you're just in perimenopause, you may need to start with a birth control pill. Do you realize birth control pills and hormone replacement are the same things, okay? They're just a continuum of dosage. One is at a higher enough dosage to you know, um, stop ovulation and provide contraception. The other is just to replace what you are decreasing as you go into menopause. There are also different and new things called a pellet procedure, which you may not know about. It's an outpatient procedure. Your doctor takes a, an area on the hip or the lower abdomen, makes, cleans that area off, makes a little incision, like a one millimeter incision after numbing that area up. And then a trocar, which is a metal, Two is placed under subcutaneously under the skin, and the little pellets, which contain hormones, either the DHEA, the testosterone, estrogen, are placed subcutaneously, and then it's a continuous method. Again, the method you have to be worried about women as well as the type. We get so concentrated on this bioidentical compounding, mm -hmm. it's also which way it gets delivered, which may be best for you. Okay. Does that help you? Yes. Okay, help me hope a lot. it helps. Yeah. All right. 